So Vice President Kamala Harris just dropped her presidential ad just now. So you know we got to check it out. And honestly, I feel kind of like naughty. I feel kind of like naughty, like checking it out because I drop a whole bunch of content with Trump too. So it feels like, you know, like, hey, you know, should I be like dropping this or reacting to it? And the answer is yes, I do what I want. So we're going to check out that ad. We're going to check out that ad. But before we do, before we do, I need you to smash that subscribe button. Subscribe to me, the Marine Rapper. I do all types of reactions, news, political, music, and military. So if you like that type of stuff, you need to stay logged in here. And um, while you're hitting that subscribe button, I'm going to hit this play button. Let's go. In this election, we each face a question. What kind of country do we want to live in? Okay, the music's hard. The music's hard. Don't be a... Hey, listen. It's it's one thing to differ in political opinion, but the music is hard. It was tough. You heard that. It was like an organ. We got to go back. We got to go back. The music's hard. Can't lie. Can't lie. Music's tough. Let's go back to that. That was, that was hard. In this election, we each face a question. What kind of country do we want to live in? There are some. Hey, that music's hard. Yo, that music is tough. One thing. Okay, look. One thing that liberals got or Democrats, they got them tunes, bro. They got them tunes. They got that music. For real. Don't lie. Hey, do not lie. They, they got that music. But. Because uh, that, that organ, and then it was just, oh, man, that Americana sound. I am just, when it comes to music, I am a music nerd. I love all types of music from classical to rock to rap to country to bluegrass to, to pop to anything, to K-pop. I love it all. So, when to, uh, yeah, boom bap, uh, boom clap. All that type of music. So, oh, gospel. How could I ever forget? Gospel. You guys know that's, you know, I make, that's some of the music I make. I make gospel and Christian music. Uh, so, to, to when I hear that organ, it moves my soul. Soul music. Reggae. Electronic. Music. I'm a fan. So, you think you slick, Kamala. You think you slick, Kamala. You, you, you think you slick. I love that music. I love that music. Now let's talk about, you know, the rest of this ad because now we see Trump about to pop up in the ad, which I know what they're going to do, but we see Trump pop up in the ad and let's see what she has to say. Let's run it back a little bit so we can get into it. Let's go. Tree, do we want to live in? There are some people who think we should be a country of chaos. A country of chaos. Okay. A country, what is what does a country of chaos mean? I just want to know what a country of chaos means, because unsecure borders, unsecure 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 borders makes our country a country of chaos, for sure. So I want to know what she's talking about, but I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it and and give it a little minute. Let me let me try to be unbiased here. A fear of hate, but. A country of chaos, a fear of hate. Okay. All right. But us. Okay, and I then I see the individuals that they're using are individuals that usually occupy areas like San Francisco, L.A., etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm getting it. I'm picking up what she's putting it down. I'm getting. Be it. a country of chaos, of fear, of hate, but us. They said of hate, and then they showed. Trump and then they show JD Vance really quick and all like shaky and stuff like that. But then we, when they show people on her side, they show individuals that are, you know, have this like angelic light behind them. This guy right here, he's wearing a pink shirt. Um, okay. I gotta say this. Have you guys ever realized or, or noticed that? the people on either side they look different like on the conservative side 
and y'all know what I'm talking about, and I'm going to keep it 100. The women, have you ever seen the women on the conservative side? And then you look on the uh, the liberal side. Have you seen the women on the liberal side? If you haven't, I implore you to go look. I implore you to leave some comments in the comment section. I'm going to leave it as that and keep moving. I'm going to keep moving. We choose something different. I'm, I'm looking at this and they're making it look really full. I want to know if it's actually that full at her rallies because I know Trump got... 22,000, 25,000, 33,000. He, he, he packs the house. He do arena type of stuff. So I, I want to know if this is an actual, her rally. Because I don't know if she's had a, I don't know if she, I don't, I do not know if she's had a rally quite yet. I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Like a, like a, a legit rally, like how Trump has rallies, like a big one. Like, hey, this is the Kamala for president rally. I don't know if I've, I've seen that. I've seen speeches and I've, and I've seen her appear and talk, but I don't know if it's like, hey, we're doing a Harris for president rally and everybody show up and is it going to happen? It's different if you have a predetermined audience or you're at a convention already and a whole bunch of people are there and then you pop up and you speak and you're like, hey, I uh, spoke in front of 50,000 people. Well, mm, NAACP and all the other initiatives and all the other people were going to show up anyway because it was like a conference and then you speak. Were they there for you? Are they going to come out for you? Like how they come out for Trump? I'm just, I'm just being curious. Fear of hate. But us, we choose something different. We choose freedom. freedom, freedom. Were they really saying Kamala? We choose something different. Freedom, freedom. Oh, I can't move. Freedom, cut me loose. I knew that I knew I knew I liked the music for some reason. They got Beyonce. They got Beyonce to do the music. Okay. Okay. Well played. Well played. Got Beyonce to do the music. Okay. That that's that's Yo, Trump, hit me up, bro. Trump, hit me up, bro. Trump, hit me up. I'm talking about some good music. For sure. For sure, cause they got they got Beyonce, bro, and I'm, I, I got some singers for you, man. I got some singers, for you. some good singers, some good singers. I got some good singers for you, bro, because they got Beyonce. I don't know if they're in the in the singing department. I don't know if you could top that. Just keep it one hundred. You know what I mean? The singing department and the music department, for real. But Trump, hey Trump, if you are hearing the sound of my voice, or if there's anybody who who can. Get me connected in there in the music department for Trump. Hey, get me connected up in there for real because uh yeah. She got Beyonce, bro. And that song go hard. It go crazy. Freedom, freedom, where are you? Cuz I need freedom too. The freedom not just to get <laughs> Yo, my my homegirls in there. <laughs> my uh, I have a veteran friend who's actually in the in the advertisement that's crazy okay i have all types of friends by the way but my friends up in here wow that's crazy. we choose freedom 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 i can't move freedom cut me loose oh also i want to say i want to make a note of something y'all i predict and i already know just like last election unfortunately there are some people that cannot put aside their political beefs and political opinions aside from their friendships and their family. And I think it's so stupid that you can't have, you can't be a conservative with a liberal friend and, a, and you can't be a liberal with a conservative friend. And it's kind of crazy. It's really crazy. If you're not hurting anybody, I don't see any issue with it. Um, but I, I just feel like it's so crazy. I feel like we're so divided because it's like, oh, if you feel this way, I can't even be your friend. I can't even talk to you. I've known you for decades, but I can't be your friend because you want to support Trump. I can't be your friend because you want to support Kamala. Yo, listen, if you want to support Kamala, go ahead. Have fun with it. It ain't going to change my mind. If you want to support, if you want to support Trump, go ahead. It ain't going to change my mind. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But to break apart families and friends because you guys differ politically and you guys support an individual who's going to be here for what? Four to eight years at max on average. Unless you're Joe Biden and you're here for 50 years. I can't say, 
I can't say about Joe Biden, but if if it's between a political party and friendship, choose pr- friendship. If it's between a political party and family, choose family. For real. Come on. I just have to say that. Anyways, let's keep moving on this Kamala ad. The freedom not just to get by, but get ahead. The freedom to be safe from gun violence. That goes so hard. That beat goes so crazy. Anyways, now now to the serious part. She's saying the freedom to be safe from gun violence. We can't be safe from gun violence if we have individuals and criminals who come here and they commit crimes. Criminals do not care about gun control. Let me say this one more time because I feel like people don't understand this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Criminals do not care about gun control. They don't care. They don't care. They do not care. They don't care. Please be cognizant of that. The only people who care about gun laws are gun people and law-abiding people. Criminals don't. They'll grab a gun. They'll do whatever. Hey, hey, let's let's just look at UK for example, right? The UK banned guns. Did people stop dying? And eh. guess what? They got killed by a knife. If people want to kill people, they're gonna kill people. If they want to be violent, they're gonna be violent. It's that's one of the oldest murder is one of the oldest things that's ever happened. It's biblical. It's biblical. People are going to kill people, unfortunately. It's very sad. It's very tragic. But stopping individuals who abide the law from being able to to purchase weapon of choice, gun of their choice to protect their family and their home is ridiculous. Is ridiculous. That's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about it. I just don't feel like... I just don't feel like it should be a thing that should be done and taken and guns shouldn't be taken away from individuals who could potentially protect you and everybody else from danger. It's crazy. The same individuals are saying, oh, we got to stop all this gun violence and grab the guns away from law abiding citizens are the same people with beefed up security. I mean, beefy. Their security is beefy. More than you, more than the regular person watching this video right now. They got better security Then you, that means you're more likely to actually not survive a situation because you don't have a beefy security like they do. Just food for thought there, y'all. Food for thought. The freedom to make decisions about your own body. We choose a future where no child lives in poverty, where we can all afford health. These are common sense things, common sense things. So... She couldn't handle the border. Kamala couldn't handle the border, but she's saying that she's going to handle all this. I'm just, I have to be critical of it. I'm just being critical of it. I just, I want to know if that's, the math ain't math then, you know? So I I just, honestly, I don't know. Who knows? You know what I mean? Sometimes you may flunk every grade up until your freshman year of high school and then become a straight A student. I don't know, maybe. Who knows? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Care. Where no one is above the law. <laughs> well played. You, 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 she's playing into the fan base and putting the mugshot of Trump there. But the thing is, is Trump has already, mon- he's already uh, marketed this image right here and actually sells merch with it on it. And people love seeing that image because it's saying that he is relatable and a regular person. It's above. And then you see all the um, newspapers and indictments and things like that. The law. Okay, 34 felonies. We know this. It's not going to change the people who support Trump's mind. It's just going to... Um, they're trying to use a... Like a... What do you call it? <clears throat> A scare tactic and say, oh, he's the big bad wolf type of stuff. We believe in the promise of America and we're ready to fight for it. Because when we fight. Yo, the beat's so crazy. Beyonce goes so crazy. You can't lie. 
For real. Like, don't don't be a hater. For real. Fight. We win. So join us. Go to KamalaHarris.com and let's get to work. I'ma keep running because the winner don't quit on themselves. I love all the imagery. I love the visual. I love the... What else do I love? I, I love the sentiment. Like, yeah, we want to make America secure, safe, and people should be able to do what they want and freedom and all of that type of stuff. <clears throat> the issue isn't Americans having freedom. The issue is un-Americans having freedom. I'll just leave that with you. So if you love news, military, political, and music reactions, definitely keep it locked right here. And also make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. But until then, we'll see you on the next reaction.